In this video, I am going to demonstrate how to assemble the Ergodox wireless keyboard. To begin, we will test that the hardware works as expected. Even though testing was done before the boards were shipped out, you should do it again just to make sure. There is a test button on the left of the USB-C port. If you press it, a red LED should turn on. The same red LED should turn on if any two of the 13 GPIO pins are shorted. While it's not necessary to test all the combinations, you should pick a pin and test it against the other 12. Obviously, you should not intentionally short anything else on the board. You can then repeat the same test for the other PCB. Now you are ready to solder the battery connector. You should trim the legs just enough such that they don't come out the other side. This is very important as the PCB must sit flat against the top of the keyboard case. Soldering the header should be very straightforward. You should end up with two mostly symmetrical PCBs, one for the left and one for the right. Now it is time to solder the GPIO headers. The header should go right next to the battery connector. If you're building for an acrylic case, you should cut the short side just enough such that when the black insulator sits against the PCB, nothing comes out the other side. You should start by soldering one pin and double checking that it is straight. I would even consider soldering it upside down and letting gravity do its work. I recommend soldering the last pin second and then soldering all the intermediate pins. You are now ready to start working on the keyboard case. You can unscrew everything and turn it upside down. I recommend keeping three of the screws in as I've done here so the case doesn't fall apart as you are working on it. This is going to be very important when you are later soldering the solar panels. You can now put the solar PCB in place and the keyboard PCB on top. You must take extra care to make sure everything is flat. I highly recommend putting Milmac sockets into the keyboard PCB here so you can make minor height adjustments if necessary. Once you've connected the keyboard PCB to the solar PCB either via direct soldering or via Milmac sockets, you're ready to test that everything works. I recommend shorting one key in every row and every column to make sure that everything that should be connected is in fact connected. You are now ready to install the solar panels. You should orient them such that the polarity matches the labels on the solar PCB. You should push them a bit to make sure that they are flat against the top of the case. I recommend doing this with the case hanging off the edge of your desk so the height of the screws doesn't affect the flatness. Soldering should be mostly straightforward. You should be able to see the gold pads through the holes on the solar PCB. I recommend using a soldering iron tip that is small enough to fit through the hole, but large enough to transfer heat quickly. You will need to use quite a bit of solder as there is some space between the solar PCB and the solar panels. You may also need to use a higher soldering iron temperature than normal. Having the right soldering iron tip will allow you to push the solar panels down against your desk so it ends up flat against the top of the case. You should also add some flux to ensure a good electrical connection. Once you are done, you can remove the PCBs and visually inspect that all four solar panel pads have a proper connection to the solar PCB. You can then finish up by cleaning away any remaining flux residue. The final step is attaching the battery. The black cable is the negative terminal which should go to the middle of the three pins. The battery JST connector has a tiny nub that should be facing up in the current orientation. It's very important to not attach the red and black cables in the wrong order as that can fry the solar PCB's electronics. I suggest using a piece of tape along with two rubber feet to ensure that the battery doesn't move in the keyboard case. If you have any questions about the assembly process, please join our Discord linked in the description. Thank you for watching.